Hello everyone, in this video we have another problem which says the polynomial 210, I think that's how you pronounce it, has a half-life of 140 days. It decays exponentially where rate of decay is proportional to the amount at the time t. If we start with 100 grams, how much will remain after 10 weeks? So first, um, we're going to start off by writing everything that this problem gives us. So, we know that when t is equal to zero, it is 100 grams. I tell it right here. We start with 100 grams. And it has a half-life of 140 days. And that tells us that t is equal to 140, y is equal to half of what we started, which would be 50. And finally, we're going to write what we're trying to find. When t is equal to, since this is 10 weeks and we are solving everything in terms of days, we're going to change this into days, which would be 10 times 7 to 70. So when t is equal to 70, what is y? How many grams? So it says it decays exponentially and the rate of decay is proportional to the amount at the time t. That tells us that we, uh, using that sentence, we can write dy over d t is equal to k multiplied by y. And we can just use separation of variables. Actually, I don't think this is separation of variables. Like this differential equation? I can't remember, but we can divide y on each side and multiply dt on both sides. And then take the integral, which will give us the ln of absolute value of y is equal to k multiplied by t plus c. We can solve for the constant by using what we wrote here, when t is equal to 0, y is equal to 100. If we put in t is equal to 0, that's just 0, so c will be equal to ln of y, which is ln of 100. Now we can solve for the other constant, k. We're going to use this, what we wrote here, to solve for the constant k. When t is equal to 140, 140 multiplied by k, plus c, which is ln of 100, is equal to ln of y, and y is equal to 50 here, when t is equal to 140 ln of 50. Now, if we solve for k, we will have k is equal to 1 over 140, 1 over 140 multiplied by, we're going, since we subtracted ln of 100 before we divided by 140, we'll use the properties of logarithm. To simplify it, ln of 50, the ln of 50 subtracted by ln of 100 will be ln of 50 over 100, which is 1 over 2. ln of 1 over 2. And so that's the value of k. Now to put everything all together, we will have ln absolute value of y is equal to 1 over... I'm not sure if I'll have enough space to write everything. Since we don't need this anymore, I'll just erase it and then we can work at the top. So we'll have here ln of absolute value of y is equal to k, which is equal to 1 divided by 140 multiplied by 
ln of 2 plus c, which is ln of 100. And then we can solve for y. y would be equal to e to the power of all of this, 1 over 100, 1 divided by 140, multiplied by ln of 2, plus ln of 100, which we can change this so that we'll have all of this multiplied by e to the power of ln of 100. And the 100 and e can swap places that will make 100 to the power of ln e, and ln e is just 1, so this is just 100. I feel like the most important thing, our variable t. I am so sorry about this. Okay, now, we're trying to find for the y value when t is equal to 70. Now, if we put in t is equal to 70, y of 70 will be equal to 70 divided by 140 will be 1 over 2, multiplied by ln of 2, multiply everything by 100. And you put this into your calculator, which if I'm about to bring, and you put into your calculator, 100 multiplied by e to the power of 0 0.5 multiplied by ln of 2. I did not get the right answer, so that means that I made a mistake somewhere. And I see the mistake. k is equal to ln of 1 over 2, not 2. <laughs> so I'll just change everything. One over two, one over two, and one over two. And so if you put in one over two instead, so that would be 0 0.5, you will get approximately equal to 70.71. So that would be our answer, 70.711 grams. That's how much we would have left. So as you can see in my calculator, I calculated it and I got 70.7107. So thank you so much for watching everyone and have a great day, bye.